Let's take a look here at finding a couple limits to look like this. Take a look. So the first one will have this form. Limit as x approaches 0 of sine of 2x over x. That's our goal. But to do this, what you want to do is multiply by a form of the number 1 and then use a basic fact. So hopefully by now you've learned that this limit right here, the limit as x approaches 0 of sine of x over x, this limit is known to have the value 1. So we have to make this expression conform to this. What that means specifically is you want whatever this part is right here to be the same as that part. Then that's equivalent to this. Right now in our original we have 2x. We don't have a 2 on the bottom. So I'm going to be write it as follows. This is basically 1. Step 2 is like a basic rule that you should know. And then step 3 I'm going to write now limit. And the goal is to make 1 here look like 2. I'm going to put x equals 0. And you can do that by multiplying by a form of the number 1. So that's 2 over 2 in this case. You multiply by sine of 2x over x. And I'm getting closer already to what I need. And I know that because now like this part over here, for example, is the same as this part over here with the 2, you see? So the next stage, therefore, I'm going to type limit as x goes to 0. And what I'm going to do now is take the 2 in the top and I'm going to separate that out and place it in front of the whole limit. Okay, so that goes outside right here. So it becomes 2 times the limit. And these are the step numbers. So I end up now with 2 times the limit as x goes to 0 of sine of 2x over 2x. So the top 2 went out, the bottom 2 I put together with the x. And I've done that because now this piece right here matches that piece. When you have that piece, you can apply this basic rule. Those pieces here have to be the same as step number 2, that rule. But for that reason, now I can write the following. Take a look. That's step number 5. I'm going to put here. It's 2 times this limit right here. This limit is equal to 1. So in other words, I'm just going to put 2 times 1, which is 2. And that is the final answer. Notice that this is pretty general. What I mean by that is, if you had, like, for example, the limit, again, as x approaches 0, say, of, like, sine of ax over x. That a is some constant, whatever the constant happens to be, 2 or 5, whatever it happens to be. So again, in this case, I would handle this the same way. I would put the limit as x approaches 0. This way, what I'm doing right now basically solves every problem that you might have of this specific form, okay? So here, I'm going to multiply by a over a. Remember that a over a is just a number, like 1. That's it. Because if it's 5 over 5, it's 1. If it's 10 over 10, it's 1. If it's 20 over 20, it's 1, and so on. So you're just multiplying by 1, which you're always allowed to do. So I'm going to get here sine of ax over x. And now take that a from the top and just separate it out in front. So it becomes a limit x approaches 0 of sine of ax over ax. And then this new limit, sine of ax over ax, that is equal to 1. So you can simply write at the end, therefore, it's a times 1 or a. And that's the value of this limit. That is it. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a like. I'll check you out in another video.